All right, we are live. Hello, happy Sunday night. Welcome to another edition of Fart Club, farting around, having fun with our art. Hello. Hello to all my creepers. Hello to all my stalkers. Hello to all my lurkers. Lurk on, you beautiful lurkers. Hello to each and every single troll in the sound of my voice. And hello to the awesome Thumbs Down crew for being on top of it every time. Awesome job. Hello to everyone who comes by tonight. And hello to everyone who may or may not be watching and or listening to the replay. Hello, hello. We're going to mess around tonight around have fun with our art with some oil pastels tonight homestead wyoming well hello good to see you i recognize you from mr decker's world come on in one of my decker peeps hello hello home homestead wyoming is somebody i know from mr mike decker's channel hello cousin margie how are you Good to see you all. Thank you for coming on in. That was a nice surprise. I didn't expect one of my Decker peeps to come in tonight. They come by from time to time. Mike has still yet to surprise me and give me a, a heart attack <laughs> and show up. I get the feeling one of these days he actually will. <laughs> well, thank you for coming by, Olmstead. Thank you so much. Do you live um, anywhere near... Uh, where Worland is, where Mike is. i just curious. I thought maybe you guys could do a meetup or something. That'd be awesome. I, I like how Mike is taking more time to do live streams and reach out to his people. I just wrote to him the other night and tried to encourage him, you know, uh, that people do love him and his children and we love communicating with him and, you know, so do give him lots of love and support southeast of Mike. Oh, well, I hope you guys get to meet up. That would be pretty cool. I think some meetups would be good for him. I think that would, uh, you know, whenever he's ready to do all that, you know, he, he's come out of his shell quite a bit over the last couple of years. I can't complain. You know, the things I've said to that man and he's still speaking to me. I mean, <laughs> I don't mean anything bad by it, but wow, he is a good man. Yes, he is, and I'm very proud to know him and have him as a very special, beautiful friend. Hello, Jim Adams. Hello, hello. Come on in. Sorry, I was just a touch late. I had to charge up a little bit. I don't have much of a charge, but we got enough to fart around tonight. So, And Homestead, when I say fart, I don't mean what comes out of your butt, but rather fun plus art equals F apostrophe A-R-T, which is fart. So we're having fun with our art. That's what we mean by all the farting around going on up in here. So I just thought I'd straighten that out right now. <laughs> we use that word rather gratuitous, gratuitously around here. So bear with us. Thank you so much, Homestead. Jim Adams, Homestead, Wyoming, is a peep from Mr. Mike Decker's world. So I just saw her or him or whoever. I'm sorry, I'm just assuming it's a female. I'm just... That's wrong of me. Whoever Homestead is, is from Mr. Mike Decker's world. Thank you for coming in. Hello, Sean Cody. There is my digital rose. Someday, Sean, I hope you can give me a real one. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> How are you, Sean? Good to see you. Jim Adams is not too terribly far from Wyoming. What'd you say, Jim? A couple hours away? Our Jim Adams here is in Utah. So... I'm sure you, okay, I, I guessed correctly. Thank you, Homestead. I didn't want to be an ass and assume, and well, I did anyway, you know, so. How about that little exchange with Mike tonight, man? I, I threw the dinner comment out there the first time. He didn't say anything. Then I threw the dinner comment out there again, again, thinking he wouldn't say anything. But, oh, Lord, he said something tonight, didn't he? Yes, sir, he did. Wowee. Maybe it'd be cold by the time I get there. Yeah, maybe I'll warm it up. Yeah, I'll be warming it up. Well, hello, Ox. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Hello, hello. Tough old ranch girl. Well, I'm originally from Wyoming, Homestead, so I was a bit of an agrarian myself. Uh, raised with my mother's parents, Depression-era people, so learned a lot about, you know, growing food and and raising plants and 
all the things like that. So, a couple of country girls at heart. Good to see everyone. We're five minutes in. We're going to wait a few minutes more before we get started. Let's see who else wanders on in. Ox Homestead, Wyoming is a friend of mine from Mike Decker's channel. Ox, do say hello. Oh, Colorado Ranch Country. We've got a friend or two in Colorado. Yeah, if you see our friend the Swedes or Mr. Dooku, they are, I believe they're both in Colorado. Welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you for coming by. If you haven't seen any of the uh, promotional videos for the Cami Awards yet, please go check those out. Life with Aaron put up one, and I put up one today, too. So I had uh, Diana and Jason help me out. Uh, hello, Jim Brentar. Hello, hello. Now we have Super Jim, Homestead, Wyoming. Please meet Jim Adams and Mr. Jim Brentar. Uh, together they make Super Jim. So. Jim Brentar, Homestead, Wyoming, is new. She is a friend from the Mike Decker channel. So do say hello. Thank you, Jim Adams. Oh, uh, I don't, I'm, I'm happy and honored to be nominated, but my fun is going to be uh, presenting the award, certainly. And I'm working on a commercial, uh, just a funny, goofy, stupid commercial. <laughs> so I hope it goes okay. <laughs> Yes, Ox, I noticed that. I, I was a touch surprised. I just thought I was working this thing. That's all. I'm having a good time just helping out, you know, what I can with promoting it and making a little bit of content to contribute. And I cannot wait to film what I'm uh, presenting with Mr. Mark Fun Jones, my second-in-command BFF, the one who came up with all the farting around in the first place. Oh, we're going to have a good time. There, there's no script. There, there, there can't be. We're just going to get the cameras rolling and go for it. You know, just, just jump right in there. There's no messing around. <laughs> yeah, Ox, you said that. Jeez. That got taken care of, though. Now you can only vote once. I think if you forget to, to hit a button or something, you can, you know, that happens. But, you know, whatever. It got taken care of, so all's... All's on the up and up again, so that's cool. I've never used one of those survey things before, so I don't know. Oh, thank you, Sonny. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Sonny, uh, Homestead, Wyoming, is a nice lady in here from Mr. Mike Decker's channel. It's her first time here tonight. And Homestead, please meet Sonny Girl. We have a nice warm crowd here. We have a nice little little fart club community. We enjoy not only having fun with our art, but watching each other have fun with all kinds of art, whether it's fine art or performing arts, vocal, musical, whether it's cooking or, or making things, uh, crafting things, uh, videography. There's there's many ways to have fun with your art. And, and uh, we are all about that. A poetry, people who write. Mr. David Yates, you never know when that plucky guy might come in. A homestead, you know who I'm talking about, Mr. Mr. Ranting and Raving in Manchester, England. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now I'm doing the Irish accent when I ought to be doing the English accent. <laughs> A little bit of bow star slipped out. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> well, who's here? It is my favorite stalker, K-Dog. Hi, K-Dog. Yeah, that's right. You just jump in and stalk. That's right. K-Dog is my number one stalker of all time. I love you, K-Dog. Love you muchly. Thank you for popping on in. Thank you so much. Oh, I do love Mr. Yates. He's a wonderful friend of mine, Homestead. And uh, speaking of which, I need to get a hold of him. It's been a little while. We correspond rather regularly and talk about a great pen pal. Have the UK's number one poet as a pen pal. Wow, the things you get back and wow. <laughs> He's awesome. We've sent each other stuff. He sent me one of his books autographed. Are you kidding me? I've sent him stuff. He's so cool. And I love his family. I love those little dogs. Oh, Ollie and Ellie. And his little grand doggy uh, Buddy is the little little wiener dog. I sent Buddy a little hoodie. Yeah, it's so cute. Oh, my goodness. Thank you all for being here. We're just about hit 10 minutes. I don't know if Moon was going to make it or not. He might be too pooped. That's okay. I'm sure he'll check up on the replay or something later, maybe. 
I like to act like he's always watching, you know. You never know. We're just going to move our fart club here that he made me. The sassy, sassafras whacking stick fart club. And just knock someone right upside the head. They're acting a fool. There's a pow. So we're just going to move that over here. Love you very much, K Dog. So glad you could be here. Well, let's start in. I don't have a set plan or anything. We're just going to start throwing color down on this canvas. And I do have my mineral spirits here and my brushes to swish it all around and do some beautiful blending once we get some color down here. I'm just kind of doing an abstract thing. Just want to see. The canvas tells you what it wants to do. So do the oils. And what do we learn? We learn to lay that color on nice and thick. You can't put too much on. You really can't. You really can't. Oh, love you too, K-Dog. Very, very much, Lee. Thank you for being here tonight, K-Dog. Don't forget to vote, K-Dog. There's, there's no excuse. Vote for Puppet Jack Sparrow for the best sidekick. That's Nez's top pick right there for the, these here Cami Awards. You bet. How can I not say that after I got to meet him and hold him and love him and kiss him? Oh, thank you, Ox, for sharing that, by the way. Oh, good, good. Thank you so much. I love seeing all of us who are... Uh, working on this and who are participating in the surveys and voting and when who nominated. Thank you everyone for, for coming together in this way. Uh, it's, it's a real positive experience for me so far. I'm enjoying every bit of it. Oh, thank you, Ox. Thank you. I don't know, Jim Adams. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear what became of it or, or what. And that's really too bad because, you know, I, Ox was my, was my top pick for that. I'm getting messages. Well, we'll handle those after our stream. So I'm not going to interrupt shit by jumping on that. So we're going to get some more color blending going on here right now. Jim Brentar, hello. Jim Brentar, please say hi to Mary Kay for me. Hi, Mary Kay. Jim Rentar showed some more beautiful fart work today. Please go check it out. I love everything he does. He did a, that surreal painting he did is fantastic. I called dibs on it, Jim Rentar. I don't know what your asking price is, but uh, whatever it takes, man. I like the surrealism and I love Mr. Rentar's take on it. Again, another piece that's ready to be hung in a gallery and sold for $5,000. Excellent work, Mr. Brentar. Excellent work. Well, that's what you were saying earlier. Um, that's what you were saying earlier, k Don. Well, Ox, I don't know. I don't know, you know, who's all doing all of that, but I would like to think at least some people are being represented and not just one, you know. I know enough uh, people are excited about it and have been voting and stuff, so. Yeah, it, some of it I just didn't know and I didn't know what to vote because there was some channels involved that I just, I just don't go there, that's all. I'm not seeing anything bad about any of the nominees. I just, you know, I don't get around to that particular part of the boy, so. Well, Ox, I, you know, honestly, I am having fun. This is something I am enjoying doing, and I'm glad I got Jason and Diana to help out. They were all about it, so, you know, I'm, I'm having a good time. I'm glad Billy got nominated. Oh, how happy is he? And I know on a bit of a controversial note, some of the uh, trollish channels, there's a category for most toxic, and indeed 
the people spoke and gave their nominations for some of the most toxic out there. So if that's your thing, uh, checking that out, please do. And you're able to vote for the most toxic as well as all the other categories. So, Or not. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Yes, K-Dog, you said. Yes, Sonny, I hear you 133%. Yes, yes, I hear you. But, you know, what are you going to do? I'm just happy to participate. And I'm happy to see uh, certainly the deserving channels that got some kind of nomination. Absolutely. You know, you take the good with the bad, you know. What are you going to do? I'm determined to have a good time. And as much as possible, I want to promote this and and uh, spread that good feeling. I'm, I'm having a wonderful time with this project. A little nervous about doing my commercial, but it'll be just fine. Let's get some more blending going on here. Now, don't forget when I put the, the mineral spirits on here, that will just wash these together in a, just a lovely way. So there's more to it than just this. Well, Aaron, hello. Did Aaron come in? Yes. Yes, Aaron, I agree 150,000%. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say about that. But that's okay. That's all right. We're just going to carry on forward. And do oh I'm sorry, Aaron. I was kind of hoping to see Ruthie in the mix too. But it is what it is. I I can't believe anybody even you know nominated me for anything. I'm just happy to be helping present. That's that's the shiz knit right there. Let me tell you what is getting to present. Oh, you bet. And Aaron can testify. Uh, I have wanted to present. Uh, ever since he did the awards last year. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. I'm all about that. I just, I can't think of anything else more fun to do with this than that. <laughs> oh, cool, K-Dog. I can't wait to see it. Yes, Sunny Girl, I agree. What'd you have to eat, Jim Brentar? What was on the, the menu tonight? And uh, looking at the nominees made me, you know, realize that there's still many people I don't know or I've never been able to check out. Just I haven't gone there to their part of the world. So it gives me some new people to check out. I've heard a lot of names and just haven't been able to check out all the channels that go with those names, you know? So. But all in good time. All in good time. Thank you, everybody, for being here tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you, Homestead Wyoming, for coming from Mr. Decker's channel. Please tell him you stopped by here. And please tell him that we're all looking forward to when he moseys on in. Uh, knowing him as I know him, I would not put it past him to do that at some point. He's made me wait long enough. Fool me not, darn it. I'm sorry. I'm going to see if it'll let me do it now. I didn't get to the replay today. Crap. Okay, fool me not. I'm sorry. You still have a wrench coming. I just can't do it in here. I've got to, I just did not get to the in time to do that today. But, uh, stay on it, fool me not. If you're good enough for Mike Decker, you're good enough for me. Hell yeah. So don't worry about it. Hello. Hey, Homestead Wyoming, Fool Me Not's here. One of our Decker peeps and a Richie peep and one of my peeps. So, hey, look, Fool Me Not, Homestead Wyoming. Yeah, get those buns over here. Yeah, yeah. Boy, I'm all about what he said tonight, man. That was awesome. Maybe it'd be cold by the time I get there. And I could not help but type... I'll warm it up for you. Oh, yeah. That was good stuff. All right, get yourself some more tea. That's right. Have a cup of tea. Have a drink. Have a smoke. Have a snack. Have a seat. Have a good laugh at, at my nonsense. <laughs> oh.
Ooh, it's gonna have lots of beautiful color in it here. Let's see, I need to put a little darker blue going on in here. That's, that's good. Thanks once again for everybody being here. I appreciate it. Homestead, if you look way back, well, if you look through my playlists, uh, I think I just have a playlist that has listed Mike Decker painting, if you want to see the painting that I did of him and Stony Bear, uh, like a year ago. And now I'm going to be working on a painting of him with Mac. I think that's appropriate. Now more than, than ever, you know, so... Okay, well, fool me not. I won't forget about you. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Lots of love to you, fool me not. Everybody say goodnight to fool me not. He will be in blue eventually, as soon as I get my ass over to a replay and, and hit the button there. It won't let me do it here. I used to be able to make mods and take wrenches away in my stream, but the uh, last couple days, no go, so. Oh, he does, Homestead. Yes, he does, and I love them, too. I've loved them, too, all these years. I certainly have. I would love to go meet him and, and get lots of video of him and those children. Are you kidding me? That'd be so much fun. I want to look through that camera. I want to see the moon the way he shows it. I've never seen that in person, just on video, you know. Not the way he does it. The moon here doesn't get that big, and I know he's looking through his camera, but you know, in general, uh, just I don't get to see the moon as clearly, what with all the filth in the air and everything. Yes, yeah, have a blessed evening, fool me not. Lots of love to you. I won't forget you. I don't think I'm going to forget you. Well, Jigsaw, that's okay. You are excused. You just, whenever you feel like being here is when you're allowed, you're supposed to be here. Only you decide that. I have no, there's the only rule of Fart Club is what? The one rule of Fart Club is have fun with your art. Have lots and lots of fun with your art. You know, art is a gift from God. It certainly is. He's the artist. It's the creator who gives the gift of creating. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, Jim Brentar. I like that. Um, I, I read Go Ask Alice. That was a good book. Still reading yourself, sir. I haven't forgotten, Mr. Brentar. Okay, we're going to be ready here soon to get the mineral spirits out. I'm just throwing on a bit more color before we start doing that. Remember, the more of this we get on there, the better. Oh, they are so wonderful, Homestead. They really are. And, you know, I could feel his pain, you know, over Stony Bear. Aw. So I've tried my best to reach out to him last couple of nights, drop him a little email. I've tried my best to be supportive, you know. It's a rough time. I've had to be the one to decide it's time to put the pets down when they can't stand it anymore, you know. I've had to make those decisions. So I totally, totally get where he's coming from. Yes, yes, I agree. Praying for, yes, Ox, praying for your wife, exactly. Oh, that's cool, K-Dog, that's cool. Yes, Homestead, and he's got such a big heart, and you know he's taken immaculate care of those those babies. And, uh, you know, God bless him. 
he'll be rewarded. He'll be rewarded in heaven for all of his kindness and, and love given to all of God's creatures. You bet he will. You bet he will. Here's a, that's a real hero right there. One of the reasons I love Mike Decker so much. There you go. He's beautiful inside and out. Oh, and the story about that moose. And I thought, oh, you son of a bitch. Are you going to tell us a story where the moose ends up dying? No, he did not. He did not. The moose was fine. So I was on the edge of my seat for that story. I'm like, oh. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. Okay, good. There we are. Yeah, just that little glitch where it boots me off my stream. Yeah, the moose, I was concerned. I'm like, he better not be telling no, no heartbreaking tale. Not tonight, not after losing Stony, you know. One thing I've learned, Homestead, is to never doubt that man. To my knowledge, to date, as far as my personal experience with him is, A, uh, he ain't no liar, and B, uh, he follows through with what he says he's going to do sooner or later. You bet. And uh, C, he's always worth the wait. I've learned that much in the couple of years I've known him. <laughs> Jim Brenta, are you doing name that tune again? Homestead, our Jim Brenta here likes to throw out song lyrics and see who knows them. I'm not so good at that. He's good at that. I'm I'm not so good at that. Okay, there we go. He is. He really is. And uh it's hard to say. You never know one of these days. If I honestly had to stand before God and answer the question, do I think it's possible that we might actually get to meet up at some point? And I'd have to say, I think after all this time and knowing him and getting to know him uh, and him getting to know me, I, I think it's possible now than it ever was. I, you know, I'm not saying, you know, it's going to happen anytime soon, but I at least acknowledge that it's possible. I can't deny that it, it is possible. So that would be really cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew he was he was quoting some kind of lyrics. All right, now is the time where we get out the mineral spirits in our brush and start swishing stuff around. Watch these colors pop. Sorry, little Nezzy, get over there. Thank you for joining us, Homestead. This is what we do. I do all kinds of artwork and fart work. I do portraits, I do abstracts, I do surrealism, I do impressionism, I do charcoals, I do pencil drawings. Oh, you bet, Homestead, you bet. If for some reason I ever make it out that way, I'd certainly let you know, and it'd be nice if we could, you know, meet up that way, too. So, we will see. I've lived long enough to know that you never know what's going to happen. And I gotta say, it looks like it's at least possible. You never know. He might let me, if I do the uh, painting of him and Mac, more like when, I'm working on that. I thank God the picture of him and Stony Bear got to him, you know, in plenty of time. Oh, my God. So at least he's got that, but there needs to be one of him with Mac to complete the set. Especially now that the clock's ticking, we don't know how long Mac's going to be around, and I'd like to get it done ASAP while Mac is still around. So that's my plan. Oh, I know. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be very cool. Okay, now then. I think I've got the brushes I need. Okay. Oh, Ox, I'm sorry. Make sure you have uh, lots of lemon. Oh, I know he will. I know he will, Homestead. He knows I, I, you know, I couldn't do that kind of work if I didn't have that kind of love. That's why his portrait with Stony Bear is one of the finest things I've ever done. I mean, I, I went, I went over such fine details. I used the point of a needle for like the hairs on his face and on Stoney's face. Yep, chicken soup. I had some chicken soup earlier uh, last week when I was feeling pretty hit and I stayed home. And that uh, helped me feel a lot better. Oh, 
cool, Homestead. Cool. Yeah, I think it's just in one of my playlists. It's just called Mike Decker Oil Painting. And, uh, and it, thanks to the, the, uh, the uh, autocorrect, it says, New Lover, uh, thank you for the painting, or something like that, instead of Nez Lover. And he never did correct that, which is fine by me. If he wants to call me New Lover, he can go ahead and call me New Lover. But uh, <laughs> I'm sure it was just a typo. <laughs> but it's only a three-minute video, and he shows the painting in the middle of the video. And Mac has a cameo appearance, I think, too. He did. He did. He totally did, Jim Adams. You'll have to look it up. I know. I wasn't going to complain about that. You go ahead and you want to call me New Lover? Go for it. No complaints here. I also sent him, because it took so long to get the painting to him, I sent him some consolation prizes, and one of those was one of my hand-drawn Richie from Boston t-shirts. He and I are the only two people in the world that have the hand-drawn Richie from Boston t-shirt, so. I should make up a few more of those and see if our uh, Decker peeps or any of our RFB peeps are interested. Thank you all so much. We're a half hour into it. Thank you for being here with me. Showing the colors going on here. A lot of happy, positive going into this tonight. Thank you so much. All of your energy goes into what I make right here in front of you. Oh, isn't he something? He's, yeah. I do love the RFB. Just say a little prayer for him as he's traveling. Ooh, coyotes and mountain lions. Ooh, critters and creatures. I love them all, K-Dog. Love the critters and the creatures. I like this. Look at Jim Brentar. Look where this is going. Kind of got a stoner feel to this one just a little bit. This old stoner. I think this might be up his alley. Well, thank you, Mr. Brentar. Thank you very much. <laughs> I bet they are, Homestead. I bet they are. Oh, I want to hear more of Mike's stories. They're attacking animal farms. Oh, my goodness, K-Dog. Well, that's shitty. I'm sorry about that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that coming along nicely? It reminds me of Stoner. It reminds me of a little bit of Moo Moo. And a little bit of Picasso, kind of. Not too much. A little bit, though. Oh, and soon I had an idea to do uh, Warhol fart. I'm going to sketch out the Campbell's soup can, a la Andy Warhol, and and have our own fun doing a, a little bit of farting around, doing a painting of the Campbell's soup can, much like our dearly departed Andy Warhol. So... Warhol fart coming in the future. Pay a little little respects to one of my favorites. Once again, thank you so much for being here tonight. Yes, a little bit. A little bit like Mumu's wood green things going on here, yes. I would agree with that. It's beautiful. It's almost like the bird of paradise kind of feathering going on here. Well, I've had a good day. It's always a good time when I have my children here. I had Jason here this weekend. And Jason and Diana get along very well. When I told her that Jason was coming, she said, Brother! 
in Homestead, my daughter Diana's got autism, so, and you know what from. And, uh, her saying anything is amazing. Little Jimmy Dickens. Oh, Moo Moo. Thank you for coming. Uh, Homestead, Wyoming, please meet one of my very best friends in the whole wide world, my BFF, Mr. Mark Fun Jones, the creator of all things fart. That's his concept. I love you too, Moo Moo. Thank you for coming in. Everyone say hello to Moo Moo. We're having fun with the oil pastels. Yes, we are. Homestead, once again, thank you for coming. And please do tell Mr. Decker if you enjoyed yourself or not and tell him he's well. He has a wrench, too. So if he shows up, when he shows up, God willing, he shows up, he will have a wrench already. It's already in place. Margie, did you like her singing? She was so happy. That's really what motivated me to do the promo with, with Jason and Diana. She was in such a good mood and interacting with Jason and having fun. They were having fun with their art right here with the chalk and the chalkboard. And I thought, I've got to share some of this. Well, let's just film it and see what happens. And I was so glad that what I filmed worked out. Stoner here. Hey, Stoner. Stoner. Hello, Stoner. Hello, Lady of Lake Fork. Hello, Lady and Stoner. Please do say hello to Homestead, Wyoming. Uh, that's a friend from Mr. Mike De Decker's channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need to take a drink. Right, yes. Homestead, Wyoming is from Mr. Mike Decker's channel. Her first time here. Please say hello. Showing her a good time here in the fart. Excuse me. Nez Studio is a subsidiary of Fart Studios for legal reasons. I have to get that right. My Boyd attorneys at Roland and Orza Balls made sure that I say those things for legal reasons. <laughs> Stoner. Stoner, this kind of reminds me of you a little bit. It reminds me a little bit of Moo Moo. A little bit of Stoner. A little bit of Picasso going on here. But yeah, I like that. Oh, Moo Moo, you just dropped your thing. I can't stop to watch it, so I won't be the first. But I'm first in my heart. I wish I could drop everything and go there right now, but I'll jump on that after I'm done doing this. Everybody, Moo Moo just dropped a video about the Cami Awards, so please do check it out. If you go now, you'll beat me. But I will get there. <laughs> okay, not that thing. I hope I dropped that thing. <laughs> his vidya, he dropped his video thing. Oh my goodness sakes. These are so much fun. Mumu, I can't wait for you to mess around and fart around with your oil pastels. Only thing I didn't get you, Mumu, and I kicked myself f for forgetting was uh, the little tiny bottle of mineral spirits to go with this because that's all you need to make these things pop. Yes, yes, that's right. Poop tube, that's right. Aw. Oh. But yeah, go check out. Mark's video. Get your votes in for those Cami Awards. What did I say in my video? Do it now. Do it immediately. Jason did a good job, by the way. He was a good sport. I wasn't sure if he wanted to go on camera or not and do it, but he, yeah, okay. So I jumped on it. Had to get while the getting was good. And I love shooting video like that. Just, you know, when you feel the moment happening and you just know you better grab your... I like that. I like that a lot. We are 40 minutes in. Yes, I will finish this by the time we say goodnight tonight. 
Thank you all for being here with me as I fart around, having fun with my art and my non-consenting. Very mellow. Niz fart stream. Thank you for being here. Vote all for fist. Yes, that's right. Vote for Mark Fun Jones, the most fartistic. Vote Papa Jack Sparrow for best sidekick. <laughs> Vote Rolling Nose Balls LLC for best variety. Do it. Oh, I'm so excited. Mumu, I can't wait to film our presentation. Oh my goodness. Ah, I'm so excited. Little puppet Nessie's excited. Oh, thank you, Jim Brentar. Oh, I'm already happy just because I get to do what I'm doing. Everything else is just gravy. Are you kidding me? And the best part yet to come, filming with Mumu. Oh, wow. Oh, in Homestead, I call my BFF Mark Fun Jones Mumu because my mother... God rest her soul, she's with the Lord now. Um, she was a registered nurse, and she liked to be very personable. And when I speak this way, I'm using my mother's voice. And she liked to put people at ease, you know, you know, working in the hospital. And she'd like to come up with nicknames for people. And I know that I know that I know that my mother would have called Mr. Jones Moo Moo. I know it. I know it. I, I can hear her say it. Yeah, now I want gravy, too. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> yep, we talk about food here. We make each other hungry. Yeah, that's what we're up to here. Well, this is just a nice little mellow place to be, Homestead. Thank you for checking it out. When I get ready to paint uh, the, the Mike Decker and Mac painting, I will... Uh, let people know on in the comments in his world, on Mike Decker's world, and I'll say something in Richie's world, as long as he doesn't excommunicate me. And uh, <laughs> I'll ask Richie if it's okay is what I'll do. I've been kind of tiptoeing around him lately. I don't need another Richie asked you. You can just back off me, Richie. I love you, but damn it. Stop chewing. But yeah, I'll let the Decker peeps and the RFB peeps know, along with everybody else too, but particularly that, that group of peeps when I'm ready to work on the Mike Decker and Mac painting. And that's going to be a big deal, and I'm not going to be able to do it all in one night and one shot, but I do want people to share some of the experience if Mike wants to drop by and, and watch some of it uh, as it's being made, which he may or may not want to do. I'll certainly extend the offer. You know, it's a good opportunity. Some people like to watch their artwork they commission or ask for being made right in front of them. So you don't get to see that every day. Yes, Richie's a good, you know, he can he can be grouchy, but I know he loves me and I love him. And, and uh, you know, I just give him, if he needs some space and time, that's what I give him. And uh, also with Richie, I've he's never let me down yet when, you know, the shit really matters and it's important. He's, uh, you know, got my back as far as praying for me, and I got him. Um, he's really been there for me sometimes, really. As busy as he is, and that's saying a lot for somebody who's got as many subs as he does, you know. So. So there we are. Let me see if I can't tilt this up just a little bit. fly our rolling drone there is our piece for tonight look at all those happy colors look at that i love how those oil pastels just pop look at that jim brentar love it love it bobby hello well thank you homestead homestead wyoming please meet my bestest best friend in the whole wide world known her for 40 plus years the only person who ranks mark fun jones in the bff category in my world Miss Bobby Meyer. Bobby, how you doing tonight? Yeah, look at that. 
Thank you so much. Yes, if you like what you see, just let me know. Yes, people do suck, Bobby. Preach it. Tell us all about it. 40 long years. Wow, Ox, it's amazing. Yeah. She's tall and beautiful and blonde and big boobs, and I'm the one who was always invisible whenever we'd go out and about, so. <laughs> the meanest man? Well, would Rodney show up or what? He was here eating dinner earlier, so I can vouch for him there. <laughs> well, how'd you handle it, Bobby? Did you kill him with kindness? Did you tell him to go piss off? What'd you do? We're all waiting to hear what you did, Bobby. Moo was here, by the way. Oh, I can't wait to get in the hangouts with Bobby and Mr. Jones. Wow. They'll both be picking on me, but that's okay, because I'm glad they're alive to even pick on me. That's okay. They can just, you know, pick on me all I want. You said, I guess. So that's it? That's it? <laughs> you sons of bitches. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Sounds like Mike Decker. <laughs> oh, goodness. Bobby, I went to Mike's live stream tonight. Mr. Decker's been branching out and doing live streams, and he just had to put one of his dogs down. The one I did the painting of him with, Sony Bear. Yeah, that just happened here a few days ago. And, uh, at least he's, you know, reaching out to people and going online here and, and going live and talking to his people and getting lots of love and support. And uh, tonight uh, he was saying he was hungry. And I said, well, I got dinner here. And, of course, first time I said it, he didn't say anything. And then he said it again. I'm like, well, dinner's ready, man. You know, I got it right here. Beef stroganoff. It's all set. And he goes, well, it might be cold by the time I get there. And to which I replied most joyfully, uh, I'll heat it up for you. And gave him the okay sign. <laughs> so, wow, that was, that was something. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, Bobby. At least you got through it. You're here with us now. There's a million other people out there just like that, so... And the closer you get to Krampus time, Saturnalia, Yuletide, <laughs> it's just going to get better and better. <laughs> who? Mike Decker. Is that who you're going who about? Mr. Mike Decker in Warland, Wyoming. Surely everyone who's heard me knows who Mike Decker is by now. Come on now. The ranting, raving, chemtrail, evidence-gathering, photo ninja with the Pecan 900, uh, the the Bighorn Mountains, Mr. White, De Mike Decker, yeah. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Don't you love how these people can be? Oh, you need to have cameras rolling. If only you could have cameras rolling when you have to deal with some of these people. <laughs> I think you and Bobby would have a nice long conversation. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> How did he like the stroganoff? Well, fortunately, unfortunately, Mr. Decker lives too damn far away to enjoy it this evening, but I'm sure he would have loved it. <laughs> I had dinner rolls. I had everything. Nice salad. He would have been set. Diana's dad enjoyed it. He was here earlier. I just felt bad for him. You want to come here and eat? No problem. Come see Diana. So he did. And it was fine. He behaved. Everything was good. <laughs> I couldn't help it, Bobby. As soon as he said it, it might be cold by the time I get there. I was going... I'll warm it up for ya, yo taste. 
That's what he said he was going to do, Homestead. He threatened to eat burritos. So I'm taking it he's not exactly the most handy person in the kitchen. I did ask if old man Decker knows how to cook. He did not answer. So I'm, I'm kind of throwing that out there. He probably doesn't. I imagine he goes to mother's quite a bit. <laughs> Oh, the poor man. He's probably got hot, more Hot Pockets and burritos than any one person should ever have. <laughs> Too many burritos. <laughs> oh, wow. I'd flip a biscuit if he came this way. Are you kidding me? I'd. F oh, wow. And what now, from compared to when I first met him, uh, that really wasn't possible. Now it's very possible. And that's kind of what's kind of scary. Like, holy shit, I might actually get to meet some more people, you know? So I'm excited. It's an exciting place to be. <laughs> what kind of car you drive? Ring a bell. <laughs> you can drive that, that, that Decker mobile over here. Shit, yeah, let's go. Oh, I know exactly where I'd take him to. Flint Ridge. You bet. And we'd go... Uh, get some crystals from there puppet jack hello hi jack i voted for you jack everybody vote puppet jack sparrow for the best sidekick in the cami awards go do it do it now yes yes our puppet jack needs to win that award you bet <laughs> i hugged and kissed the stuffing out of that little puppet even though he's a naughty puppet he's still a good little puppet he deserves it. <laughs> Homestead Puppet Jack Sparrow is also Mark Fun Jones, my BFF. Yeah, so, and uh, I, we got to meet up recently. He lives in Tennessee. I made the trip there, and it was a wonderful time. There's some cool videos on his and my channels about that, and uh, have a good time. A few of those are only, you know, just a few seconds long. Not that bad. So go have some fun and, and check that out. Where do you vote? There is a link given repeatedly in the promo video I did, and you can always just go to Camo Dave or Aaron's channels, and the link for the survey to vote is there. So please go do that. <laughs> I know there's another Moomoo that's not my BFF Moomoo. I didn't know there was another Moomoo floating around here in the Boyd. I had no idea about that. <laughs> oh my goodness thank you once again everybody let's have one more look at tonight's project name for it all I know is I like it and a lot of happy and love and good energy from all of you went into it those oil pastels are just the thing for uh, art therapy I think they're really really good yeah moo moo that's right <laughs> Well, everybody, thank you so much for being here, Homestead, Wyoming. Please give Mr. Decker a good report for me and tell him that, well, you know, we're expecting him at some point, certainly whenever he's ready, and he will indeed already have the wrench on. So, uh, and when I get ready to do the, the painting of him with Mac, I'll let him know and I'll let all you peeps know too. So I mean, I think maybe he would like to pop in at least uh, see part of that being done. Bobby can always... Yak at me if you need to. You have a good evening, too. Moo Moo, Papa Jack, thank you for being here. I love you, love you, love you. Love you, Bobby. Love you, Super Jims. Thank you for being here. Love you, Ox. Thank you so much for being here. Sunny Girl, love you, too. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Jigsaw. Thank you, Sean Cody. Thank you, Cousin Margie. Yes, you're already a winner, Puppet. That's right. You are already a winner. You got that right. You guys have a great evening. If I don't catch you in somebody's live stream, mine or someone else's tonight, God willing, I will see you tomorrow. Lots of love to you. Oh, my goodness. How dare I almost stop without doing the most important thing. Remember to love one another. Remember to pray for one another. Remember to check up on one another, see how each other's doing. Remember to forgive one another and let the negative shit go. It's not any good for anybody. And find that love victim for tonight. Do it. Find that love victim for tonight. Somebody, maybe it's been a while since you told them you love them. And you tell that person you love them. Find a way. Get it done before you go to bed.
Oh, Shaza, thank you for lurking, honey. Good to see you. Lots of love. You guys have a great evening. God willing, see you soon.